Brett, some exciting news for the Port Adelaide Football Club today. Let's begin with the news that the Round 24 game will be played at Adelaide Oval. That's fantastic. Look, yeah, it's fantastic for our supporters and to be the first AFL club to play at Adelaide Oval in Round 24. We encourage everyone, all football lovers across the state, and importantly our supporters, to get along to what will be a fantastic day for this footy club. So very exciting. And, of course, Port Adelaide has a, good, a great history at Adelaide Oval, but also an important future one. So does this day sort of bring those things together? Yeah, look, 65 is the last time we won a grand final there, and you know we're three or four years away from playing there permanently. So this is a bit of a stepping stone to being there, and as I said, it'll be an exciting weekend, round 24 against Melbourne. Yeah, and, uh, look, the SNFL and the AFL have done a good job to bring that together? Yeah, look, uh, you know, Lee sat down about six weeks ago apparently with the AFL and the Sacker and looked at the opportunity and, and to bring it together in such a short period of time is, is logistically very difficult to do. So we'd like to once again thank the SNFL for their vision around getting us to play that first AFL game at Adelaide Oval at the end of this year. And uh, what will the experience be like for the supporters? Obviously it's a long way between now and when the game, ground will be redeveloped. Uh, it won't be the complete experience. Now, look, it's important for everyone to know that the, uh, it'll be the venue, but it won't be the actual stadium in 2014 when we come to round 24. So we're going to need a little bit of patience, but I'm sure the experience will far outweigh any little problems we may have on the day. And uh, as I said, it's going to be a really exciting day for all, the pe all people involved in football in South Australia. And we know that it's round 24 against Melbourne, but we don't yet understand or we don't yet know what the actual fixture time will be? No, that'll depend on sides that are playing in finals and when it, when it will be on that weekend, but we're assured that it'll be round 24 uh, of that weekend sometime on that weekend, so as soon as we know, our supporters will know. And Brett, the other important news today was in terms of investment in the club, uh, securing its uh, financial position going forward. What can you tell us about that? Look, as I said a couple of weeks ago, when we knew that, that, that funding was coming, we didn't know quite the level of it. It was a great day for the Port LA Football Club. And it is a great day today. It's the first time for a long time this club's had vision over its three-year uh, business plan as far as funding is concerned. And I'd like to thank the AFL Commission and Andrew, obviously, the SANFL Commission, Lee Wicker, John Olsen and their clubs for actually backing in our business plan, which we all knew could get us to Adelaide Oval. It just needed some funding and some ability to deliver a lot of things, including investment in football, in the next three years before we get to Adelaide Oval. So what does that money achieve for the club, Brett? Oh, certainty uh, for the first time for a little while. So, you know, the administrators here and the boards previous to us have done a fantastic job over the years to actually get us into the AFL first and foremost and, and keep us ploughing through the AFL, but it, it's never increasing industry and to run a club at AFL level is very expensive. So uh, those people have done a great job and equally now we'll have this funding to get this uh, group of people and importantly our players and Matty through to Adelaide Oval with some additional funding which is uh, great news for our footy department and ultimately the coach and the players. And a great sneak peek of that in uh, round 24 this year. Yeah, it'll be fantastic and as I said I encourage all our supporters, there's a lot of hard work going on around the club and we need to, to well and truly sell it out early and the best scenario I can have is a line up down King William Street on that day. Uh, telling the whole of South Australia that this venue is well and truly what we need in 2014 for football in South Australia.